Sponsored by Sask Pork. Saskatchewan's pork producers are committed to sustainable production of safe, healthy pork for you and your family. For recipes and more, visit saskpork.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Welcome to Cook with Shack. As you can see, I'm not in my kitchen right now. We've had to put Cook with Shack on hiatus because what we usually have is a whole bunch of cameras and lights and camera guys and light people and everything to help produce the show. Well, because of COVID-19, we can't do that because of social distancing. So we've gone on hiatus a bit, but we decided we'd come up with an idea. We still wanted our great fans of Cook the Shack to still have something to look at and some great food to cook. So what we did is a series of isolation episodes that we're going to be putting out. This first one, our good friends of the Kinsmen decided to invite us to their Kinsmen Home Lottery Grand Prize Show Home. And uh, we cooked up a couple of things. Socially distancing, of course. And so here it is. From the Kinsmen Show Home, it's Cook the Shack. This is where we're making, I believe, the... Uh, Inside Out Mega Burger. Enjoy. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, being that it is barbecue season, we've got beautiful weather. We've decided we are going to do my famous Inside Out Mega Cheeseburgers. How's that? Oh, oh yeah. so good. Sounds so good. Uh -huh. So now what we're going to do, now what you could do, you can use all kinds of different meat for this. You can use ground beef. You can use ground pork. Hey, Kim over at Saz Pork, how you doing? Huh? We can even use bacon in this as well. You can do whatever you want with this recipe. You can use ground chicken, ground turkey, whatever you want. So, we're going to start off with a pound of ground beef. And what we want to do is add a few things to it. So, we're going to start off with an onion. We're going to grab the, uh, hey, check it out, got a new spinner. Got a new Ooh, chopper. Fancy. The other one cacked out on me, so we had to get a new one. So, we're going to chop the onion. Well, maybe that's good. I'm a little distance away from you now, right? Because those onions. <laughs> yeah, you and the Sensitive onions. Sensitive eyes. All right, so we're going to get that in there. Now... Ready to go? We haven't done this for a while, Harrison. Let's see what we can do. Give me some chopping music. Here we go. Yeah. Keep going. There we go. You want them nice and diced up, nice and fine. All right. There we go. See? Look at that. How nice and fine those onions come out. Because some people like the onions big in there. You can keep them big if you want, but I like them when they're a little bit more fine, give them a little more flavor. So get those in. We'll move the bowl over now. Get those onions in there. Now, what you want to do is add some breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are binders, so it keeps your burgers all together so they don't fall apart when you get them in the pan or on the grill or whatever you want to do. So. Uh, cracker crumbs, this is what we've done. I had a bunch of uh, regular saltine crackers, premium plus. Uh, get them into this thing, into the chopper. Chop them up if you don't have any. If you have some, that's great. Uh, you can use chips, eh? How about, uh, oh, yeah. how about like barbecue chips or, or, or salt and vinegar chips? All dressed. Yeah, yeah, sure. All dressed. Right you could do that. So toss those in. Uh, we want a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of salt. And you can throw whatever spices you want in here too. If you want to throw a little Worcester sauce in there, you can. Maybe a little bit of hot sauce. All right, so we got the salt in there. A little bit of pepper. Uh, I think I'm running out of batteries. Whoa, I'm man. I'm losing your pepper. <laughs> <laughs> the pepper's dying on me. All right, come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. All right. Now, the secret recipe. Or the Whoa. secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. Okay, it's ketchup. It's ketchup. That's all it is. It's just ketchup. There's still a little shot of ketchup in there. Just to be Adds a little bit of flavor. Nice, uh, nice tomato-y flavor. Bit of a zing. One more thing that you want to add in here right now is an egg. And again, this is also works as the binder. And uh, what it does is it's, well, eggs are the nature's glue, right? So that's basically what you want. It all keeps it together. So one egg going in. Now. This beautiful sink. Kinsman Home Watery yeah. Grand Prize Show Home. Hey, great house. What a beautiful house this is. A little bit later on, we're going to take you on a photo tour of the entire house. But now, you want a little bit of water, just a smidge, just to moisten it up, but not a whole lot. Now, the fun part. This is where you can get into a zen moment. Ah. You're going to be squishing your meat. Okay? 
So I need a little bit of squishing meat music, all right? Squishing meat music. Here we go, Harrison. Let's do this. Right. Just pretend you're at the spa. Oh, the drops are on the floor. That's okay. We'll clean up later. We'll clean up later. I didn't see it. Oh. That one's not a three-second rule, by the way. That one stays there. Okay. All right, see, now it's good. Nice and moist, you get it all incorporated. Beautiful, okay, that's done now. I need some hand washing music. 20 seconds? 20, I think 20 seconds, that, that's the limit, right, for hand washing? Is that 20 seconds yet, are we done? 18, 19, 20, okay. Nicely done. Harrison on the guitar, everybody. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm just glad to get out of my house. <laughs> it is the isolation episode number two from the Kinsman Grand Prize Show Home. We are doing the inside out mega cheeseburgers. Now, I came up with a little device that uh, really, really helps out when you're making these burgers. All you do is go to your hardware store, get your set, uh, yourself a little piece of PVC pipe, cut it off, Take a sander around the edges so it's nice and there's no sharp edges. And now check this out. Put that right there. You take your, your, your scooper and you scoop in the meat. Now you only want about a half inch at the bottom. And you take your spoon and smooth it out. Okay. So that's... Now what you do, this is the inside out cheeseburger stuff. Make a little indent. Grab yourself some matzo. We got some matzo cheese and we've got some jack cheese. You take your mozzarella, put a couple of mozzarellas, get yourself a couple of jack cheese. Wow. There you go. Now, you take the scooper again. Put that right over the top. A little bit more. Now, you take your spoon again, the back of the spoon, you squish it all down. Look how easy that is. You're not messing around with your hands. You're not trying to get it all pinched together with your hands and make it a mess. Now watch this. Watch this. Go like that. Take it like that. And out it comes. Look at that, perfect. Every single time, and if you really want to make it nice, wow. You just kind of smooth the edges oh, around like that. See that? Make See that? Go. All right. That there it is. Look at that. Isn't that? See, it's so easy to do. Yeah. So easy. Now you've got gold inside of that. You've got cheese. You've got oh, gold. Man. All right. Now it's ready to go. So you're going to go to your frying pan. Take a little canola oil. By the way, that cheese. Hey, shop local. Sask milk. Dairy producers all across Saskatchewan, they make the best cheese, the best dairy products. So when you're buying, buying cheese, think of those people on the farm. All right, now you take, see it's all in the parchment paper, you still don't have to get your hands dirty. You plunk it down and you let it cook until it's ready to go. So oh man, does that, does that burger look good, hey? The inside out mega burger. Okay, let's run through some of the ingredients again if you missed it. So you gotta have some ground beef, or you could use ground turkey, or you could, of course, you can use ground pork, too. You could throw some bacon in there if you want, some bacon uh, bits, whatever it is, you could throw it in there, and you could also use whatever cheese you want, too. I would go with a more meltable type of cheese. Some cheese like uh, feta and Parmesan, maybe not the greatest idea for this one, just because they don't melt very well. Go with a meltable cheese. We use Jack and mozzarella. You can use uh, any kind of cheddar. Uh, I would suggest a sharp cheddar because it's got just more flavor to it. Uh, but there's so many different kinds of cheeses that you can use inside that burger. Again, you can use put whole onions in like what we did. If you don't want the onions, you can yank them out. Whatever seasoning, maybe you want to make it a little Cajun, put a little black and spice in there too. Lots of ways that you can uh, make this burger your own. We just thought we'd give you the base on it. It is the inside out burger. <laughs> it's so great on the grill. The uh, Remember, the bun to burger ratio, okay? Never have the bun bigger than the burger. 
Now, if you don't even have burger buns, just use a couple pieces of bread or just eat it like we had it on the plate there, right there. Eat it with a fork and knife if you want. Okay, there's lots of ways to do it. Have fun with this recipe. Now, let's head back to the Kinsman Home Lottery Grand Prize Show Home. By the way, thank you so much uh, for the, the uh, Kinsman for having us down there, Harrison and I, cooking in that wonderful kitchen. What a gorgeous kitchen it is. And uh, all right, let's head back there and see how this burger turned out, okay? On Cooked with Shack, it's the Isolation Edition. Sponsored by Sask Pork, Saskatchewan's pork producers are committed to sustainable production of safe, healthy pork for you and your family. For recipes and more, visit saskpork.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Oh, I bet you're all wondering, how did that burger turn out? Well, I know how it turned out. It turned out fantastic. The inside out mega burger with all that great cheese. But I guess a picture paints a thousand words. Instead of me telling you about it, Let's have a look. Back to the Kinsman Home Lottery Grand Prize Show Home. Harrison, James, and myself cooked with Shaq. It's the Isolation Edition, number one, and the Inside Out Mega Burger. All right, let's see how it turned out. Uh, are you ready to see what we got here? Oh, I'm so ready for this one. Oh, Harrison, James, joining me. Thank you very much, my friend. And here we go. So, now we had the Mega um, Cheeseburger that we made. Now inside, you don't see the cheese because of course the cheese is inside the burger. So we're just gonna show you that right now. Look at that, hey? Now, this is, let me just put this over here. We're gonna build this burger in a second, but check this out. And look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, ho, ho, check it out. Look at that cheese coming out the side. That is awesome. So, hey, you know what? Take your burger. Get it on your bun. You always have to remember bun to burger ratio. Your burger's got to be way bigger than your bun. Now, you want a little ketchup? Sure. There's a little ketchup on there. You need some mustard, uh, Harrison? Love mustard. Love a little bit of mustard on there, yeah. too. I don't just need a mess all over the place, but that's all right. I always like a little bit of mayo on the old burger, too. Toss a little vegetation on top. There you go. Check it out. There is your mega inside out cheeseburger. Oh, there you have it. There's the inside out mega cheeseburger. Oh, see all that cheese running out of there? Man, those things are good. It is the isolation episode of Cooked with Shaq because of COVID-19. We can't do it in my kitchen We because of social distancing. We don't have any camera crew or anything. It's all done on an iPhone. Harrison, James, and myself were lucky enough to head down social distancing um, to the Kinsman Home Lottery Grand Prize Show Home and uh, do some cooking there. So this next one, we're doing, I believe it's apple cake. There might be some flames involved in this one. It's cooked with Shaq. Let's see how this one turns out. Sponsored by Sask Pork, Saskatchewan's pork producers are committed to sustainable production of safe, healthy pork for you and your family. For recipes and more, visit saskpork.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Okay, let's get back to the Kinsman Home Lottery Grand Prize Show Home with Cooked with Shaq, the isolation episode. The apple cake with some apple, rum, caramel sauce, and a little bit of fire. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so we're going to get to, we don't do a lot of baking on the show. It's cooked with Shaq, not baked with Shaq. We've been asked a lot about the baking. Yeah, yeah, why but, you guys bake? See, the problem, <laughs> the thing is with baking is you gotta be so precise. Yeah. You gotta have an eighth of a teaspoon of this. You gotta have a quarter teaspoon of that. Yeah. I'm always just throwing in there, man. Little of this, little of that. That's how you cook, right? But today we are gonna do some baking and it's gonna be super easy because we've got a cake mix. <laughs> the good old, our good go. friend Duncan Hines, hey? Up in the house. A vanilla uh, cake mix is what we have here. So it's got everything ready to go. All you have to do is add a couple of ingredients. So what we're making is our own version of the uh, cinnamon apple cake with flaming rum apple caramel sauce. Yeah, yeah, baby. You're going to see some flame. Careful. You're going to see some flame a little bit later on. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's start it off here. So now if you don't have a food processor, no problem. Just get yourself a mixer. 
or you can do it by hand. It doesn't matter, grab a whisk, you can do it by hand. So what we're doing is to make it a little easier, I'm using the food processor. So we have one package of Duncan Hines, I hope Duncan Hines is paying for this, by the way. Yeah, okay. um, Cake mix, it's French vanilla. And then to that, we're gonna add the ingredients. So what you gotta do, follow the ingredients on the box. Make sure you got your, your oven ready to go at 350. So we got three eggs, all right? Three eggs in. I'm not throwing them on the floor, by the way. If anybody's wondering about the Kinsman Show home, I'm not throwing the eggs on the floor. That's, there's a garbage down there. Okay. Now, what did I always say, Harrison, about cracking an egg on a flat surface? Remember that? Yes, I do. I think that was from episode 16, about <laughs> seven years ago. That's right. <laughs> so when you crack on a, on a flat surface, you don't get any eggshells in right. when you're putting it. If you go like that, a lot of times you'll get egg flakes, eggshell flakes in there. So you go on a flat surface, you put your fingers in there ready to go, and you pop it in. Wow. It do it. It's done. All right. Just a quick wipe of the fingers here. That one did go on the floor. I heard that. Duh, it's okay, we're good. Uh, okay, we'll clean it up, we'll clean it up, we'll clean it up. Okay, now we want a cup of water. This is how easy this is. So grab yourself a cup of water, toss it in. All right, now we want from our good friends, the canola growers, canola oil, local canola oil, and we want a third of a cup of that. So that would be about there. It's amazing that we're using a measuring cup right now. Yeah, folks. see, it's the baking <laughs> thing, right? We don't usually do measures. All right, so in it goes. So now we're uh, set to go. We're gonna fire this thing up. Now you'll see that I've got apple pie filling. So what we're gonna do is actually use this a little bit later on to get the apple flavor into the vanilla cake mix. But first, we don't wanna chop it up that, one, that much. We want a little bit of uh, apple texture in there. So we're just gonna fire this one up first. So let's do a pulse. <laughs> So we got a nice, smooth batter. We're gonna put in a little bit of cinnamon. Toss that in just to give it a little bit of extra kick. Now we're gonna take the rest of the uh, apple pie filling, just a regular pie filling, just so you can get it in the can. And uh, now if you're doing this by hand, you'll wanna chop it up a little bit. The, the food processor is gonna chop it up for me, so that's why I'm putting them in kind of in big, bigger chunks. But if you're doing it by hand or with a smaller mixer, you might want to just uh, get a little bit, uh, chop it up just a little bit in a bowl. Okay, let's fire this up again. They just have to pulse this stuff. We just want to get it incorporated and chopped up a little bit. So just pulse it up. There you have it. Look at that, hey? You got a nice smooth batter, you got apple, you got cinnamon in there, it's ready to go. Now, you get yourself a spring form cake, uh, cake pan. If you don't have one, that's fine, just use a regular cake pan, doesn't matter what shape it is, you're gonna cut it into pieces anyway at the end. So I just like using a spring form one, it's easier to use when it's all done, you can just pop it out, no problem. What I do is use a little bit of canola spray, uh, the nonstick spray, put it in the pan, and also put a little thin coating of flour on it to mix it so it doesn't stick so much. So now, make that big glob. And just toss that in the sink for now, and then what we're gonna do is just pour that right in. So you can see the, the apple chunks. Hey Harrison, check oh, it like that. Oh, that looks good, Shaq. Oh, the apple chunks are right that's, there. That's great. Man, I wish I could go over there and help you. You want to lick the spatula, don't you? Totally. <laughs> we'll save throw it over. Just, just throw it over. We'll here. save it for later for you. How's that? Okay. All right, so that's done. Now, you want to get it, uh, get it all flattened out on the bottom of your pan and get all some of the air bubbles out of there? Just give it a little shake like that. You're done. Simple. Was that easy or what? Now, Thanks, thanks Duncan. Pop it into the, now look at this beautiful, look at the appliances. All these appliances come with the home too. The Kinsman Home Lottery Grand Prize Show Home could be yours. All of these beautiful appliances. This kitchen is gorgeous. Again, we're gonna take a, a photo tour coming up in just a little bit. 350, 
Cake goes in for about 40 minutes. When it's done, take a toothpick, make sure it comes out dry and you're good to go. We're gonna get to the flaming apple caramel sauce, rum sauce, in just a couple of seconds, but we're gonna go on a, a photo tour of this beautiful Kinsman Lottery Grand Prize show home. Sponsored by Sask Pork, Saskatchewan's pork producers are committed to sustainable production of safe, healthy pork for you and your family. For recipes and more, visit saskpork.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. All right, let's head back to the Kinsman Home Lottery Grand Prize Show Home. By the way, thanks to all the guys from the Kinsman for uh, having us down there and cooking in this beautiful, beautiful kitchen. Harrison and I, social distancing. We were down there. He was in another room, <laughs> was in the kitchen cooking away. We did the whole thing by iPhone because usually on Cooked with Shack, we're in my kitchen. We've got lights and cameras and a camera crew and everybody, but no, it's down to an iPhone, me and Harrison because of the pandemic, but we still had a lot of fun. Again, thanks to everybody at the Kinsman Home Lottery Grand Prize Show Home. Okay, let's head back there now and see how we're going to do this caramel sauce. A little bit of rum, a little bit of heat. Usually that means there's going to be some fire involved. Ah, let's see how this is going to go. On Cooked with Shack, it's the isolation edition from the Kinsman Home Lottery Grand Prize Show Home. Look out. All right, so the cake is out of the oven. This is what it looks like once you've got your apple cake ready to go. So you can see how all of that apple is still in there, and you can tell because obviously it was a vanilla cake. It should be white now. It is... Um, got that apple-y color with the uh, cinnamon in there too. It's nice and spongy and moist. It's gonna be so good. Okay, now we get to the rum apple flambe sauce. Oh, here we go. Make sure if you're gonna do this, you got a pair, don't know, don't even, kids, don't even think about it. Don't even think about doing this. Have a fire extinguisher handy if you're gonna do this. I would recommend don't. I'm not a professional, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. <laughs> so, Harrison, what do you think? Are we going to be okay? We got the fire well, department on hold? I'm glad I'm social distancing right now. That's, that's <laughs> all I know. Okay, so this I'm is what we got here. So what we did was we put in about, uh, about a cup of butter. Yeah, thanks to uh, Sask Milk. Yes. Uh, about a cup of butter. We melted it down. We have put in uh, very thin sliced apples, very thin. We've got them so they're nice and moist right now, nice and soft, ready to go. Now what we want to do is toss in about, oh, I'd say looking like a cup of sugar, a cup of brown sugar. Get that in there, whisk it all in, and get it all incorporated. As you can see, starting to get all... Now, what you want to do, see now, look at the brownness, you, see, you can see the, uh, the char on the apples. That's exactly what you want right there. Okay, we're gonna let that melt down just a little bit. We're gonna bring the heat down just a bit too. Let it melt down. The butter will do the, uh, the job at, at getting it nice and soft and smooth. Oh, look at that, hey? Look at that, are we ready? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Here we go. Got a little bit of rum, get you some really good rum, okay? We got some rum. Pop the cork. Now, take the heat and turn it off. If you've got a flame, turn it off. We don't want that right now. All right, so we want to just get it going. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So if it doesn't work, oh well. Take your rum, pop in. Oh, a couple of good shots. Let that heat up a little bit. And then stand back, because we're gonna let this fly. Let's see what happens. There we go, whoa! Right there. 
That's it. Make sure you've got that heat off though. You don't want that burner on. Make sure you've got lots and lots of fire extinguishers kicking around. We're going to let that go. burn off. And holy smokes, is it burning. <laughs> well, you put a few shots I, in there. I got a little bit of rub in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. We're going to let that burn off a bit. But now what it's left is look at that. Look at that. Caramelized apples in brown sugar and rum. Now, what you do is you take this over here, once all the flavage is down, <laughs> right. we're going to take some of these apples, we're just going to put them right on top and we're going to spill oh, yeah. a little bit of that sauce, Get it again, the rum sauce right there, check that okay. out, and to top it all off, we're going to grab a nice big scoop of soft ice cream. One more. Let's do that. Oh man. Okay, hang on a second. We're gonna, we're gonna take a little more of this sauce. We're gonna drizzle it over top of that ice cream. Check that out. There is apple rum sauce flambe apple cake. Ben, let's eat. I can't social distance from this anymore. Are we? <laughs> I will. I will get you a six foot spoon, Harrison. Please. Well, that is it. That is the first episode of the isolation episodes of Cooked with Shaq. And we were down at the Kinsman Home Lottery Grand Prize Show Home. What a beautiful home it is. What a beautiful kitchen to work in. We like to thank everybody at the Kinsman for having us down there. Harrison and I to cook down there and play some music and just have a whole lot of fun and entertain you and hopefully give you some ideas of some things that uh, you can do on the barbecue or like we did with the cake you can do some baking which we don't usually do on cooked with shack because you know when it comes to measurements i usually don't do that a little bit of this a touch of that that's kind of how i cook but you know what this one we had to do because it was a lot of fun and boy did it taste good so we started off with the inside out mega burger and that was beef or like i say you could use ground pork ground turkey ground chicken stuff it full of great cheese whatever cheese you want use that little um pvc pipe apparatus that i i use to, to um, form the burger i tell you it, it takes a lot of time out of it and it makes the perfect burger for you too uh and then you just throw it on the barbecue have some fun now with the second one, again, I would suggest don't do the flame thing unless you really know what you're doing, unless you have a fire extinguisher standing by or the fire department on 911 uh, just to be on the safe side, okay? So uh, enjoy, and thank you very much for watching Cook with Shack all of these years. We've had so much fun. We're going to continue doing it, but until this pandemic is over with, we will be doing the isolation episodes. So... Watch on YouTube, watch on Shaw TV, Cooked with Shaq. Thank you so much for being with us, and be watching for the next one. It's going to be coming up very soon. Cooked with Shaq, thanks for joining us. Be safe, be well, and stay isolated. Sponsored by Sask Pork. Saskatchewan's pork producers are committed to sustainable production of safe, healthy pork for you and your family. For recipes and more, visit saskpork.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook.